Forget about flying cars, the future of transportation might be rolling on air. Get ready folks, because Jeep just dropped a bombshell that could reshape the entire electric vehicle industry. Is this the end of EVs or a new challenger entering the ring? Also, let's look into what all Jeep CEO Tavares had to say about this new technology. Jeep's latest innovation throws a curveball into the ongoing conversation about the future of transportation. They've unveiled a hybrid air powertrain that utilizes compressed air alongside a traditional gasoline engine. This system promises significant improvements in fuel efficiency and range, potentially offering a compelling alternative to conventional gasoline and electric vehicles. Do you guys know how this technology works? Okay. Well, the core concept revolves around compressed air stored in a high-pressure tank. This compressed air can be released into the engine to power the vehicle, similar to how gasoline is used in traditional combustion engines. A small gasoline engine is also integrated into the system. This engine serves two purposes. Firstly, it acts as a generator to recharge the compressed air tank when needed. Secondly, it provides additional power for situations requiring a quick burst of acceleration, like highway driving. The magic truly happens in the interplay between three key components, the compressed air tank, a low pressure tank, and a hydraulic system. These work together seamlessly. The compressed air tank stores the high pressure air that propels the vehicle. The low pressure tank acts as a buffer, regulating the flow of air from the main tank to the engine. Finally, the hydraulic system helps convert the energy from the compressed air into usable power for the wheels. Do you know something else which is more interesting? Jeep claims that this hybrid system can significantly improve fuel efficiency, particularly in city driving conditions. They estimate a reduction in fuel consumption by a staggering 50% compared to traditional gasoline engines. This is because city driving involves frequent stops and starts, scenarios where the compressed air engine can operate efficiently. Another perk of the compressed air system is the potential for a longer driving range. Jeep suggests that these vehicles could see a 90% increase in range compared to traditional engines with similar power ratings. This translates to a significant reduction in refueling stops, translating to greater convenience for drivers. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of this technology is the possibility of running the vehicle solely on compressed air for extended periods. Jeep claims that in city conditions, the car can operate on air power alone for a remarkable 60 to 80 percent of the time. This would drastically reduce tailpipe emissions in urban areas, contributing to cleaner air. The electric vehicle revolution has been gaining momentum with governments and car makers worldwide championing it as the path to a cleaner transportation future. However, Jeep's CEO Carlos Tavares throws a curveball into this drama by highlighting some critical concerns that could potentially slow down the EV movement. He said, we need to be pragmatic and consider all options and focusing solely on battery electric vehicles is not the answer. Firstly, Tavares raises the issue of resource scarcity. Lithium, a vital element in EV batteries, might not be as readily available as we'd like to believe. The extraction process itself can be riddled with environmental and social problems, raising questions about the true sustainability of EVs if they rely on unethically sourced materials. Secondly, cost is a major hurdle. Currently, EVs carry a hefty price tag compared to their gasoline-powered counterparts. This significant price difference could leave the middle class out in the cold if EV prices don't become more competitive. This financial barrier to entry could hinder the widespread adoption of EVs and slow down the transition to a cleaner transportation system. Finally, Tavares points out the battery blues, even though EVs themselves produce zero tailpipe emissions, the manufacturing process for their batteries generates a significant amount of pollution. This negates some of the environmental benefits of EVs and raises questions about their overall life cycle impact. These concerns highlight the need for cleaner and more sustainable battery production methods to truly make EVs an eco-friendly transportation solution. So can air power topple the electric throne? While Jeep's air-powered engine is undeniably innovative, claiming it will definitely dethrone electric vehicles might be premature. But wait a minute, what all changes does this technology need to overcome to seriously compete with EVs? While Jeep boasts impressive fuel efficiency numbers, particularly in city driving, it's important to consider overall energy use. The process of compressing air requires energy, often generated by the onboard gasoline engine. Understanding the complete energy cycle from compressing the air to propelling the car will be crucial in determining the true efficiency of this system compared to EVs. 
The technology is still under development and its long-term durability needs to be proven through extensive real-world testing. Factors like the lifespan of the compressed air tanks, the efficiency of air to hydraulic conversion system, and the overall reliability of the additional components compared to a traditional gasoline engine all need to be thoroughly evaluated. Unlike AVs that can leverage existing charging infrastructure, compressed air vehicles will require a whole new network of refilling stations. The cost and feasibility of building and maintaining this infrastructure nationwide would be a significant hurdle to overcome for widespread adoption. Despite these challenges, Jeep's air-powered engine presents an exciting alternative and throws a compelling question about the future of transportation. So, are you guys excited about this new technology? Let us know what you think in the comments below and hey, if you enjoyed the ride, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.